Hey there. Hi, Tanya. We're on. We're on. Yeah. And we did a wardrobe change because we were both going to go did. sleeveless, and it's, it's too cold. cold in here. So, um, but we got to know each other yesterday through axe throwing, and now we get to do the the uh, interview thing. We do, and it was very exciting. And for those of you who don't know me, who haven't thrown axes or drank ranch water or been on a bus with me, I'm Suzanne Darmory. Um, thank you for the introduction, Lisa. I oversee marketing and creative, which means the whole brand. So from you know the omni-channel, from start to finish, anything brand sort of letters up to me. And it was fun switching over to the client side last year after being over two decades in the agency side. I started as a copywriter and then worked my way up to ECD. Um, and it's either a good thing or a bad thing for my agencies, having come from that side. So interesting, fun, dangerous client. You know their secrets, right? I do know everything. Yeah. Well, you've got an interesting brand. And a little secret about me, I'm, I'm the automotive editor, but I also cover financial services and, and, and tax services. So I know your brand well. And you guys have come a long way in the 40 years. You're not quite as old as Coldwell Banker, but 40 years is still a long time. And you started out as Mel's Tax Service. It is true. Mel Jackson's Tax yep, Service. Exactly, 35 years ago. Yeah, cool. So t let's talk a little bit about the, uh, I think you, you're in control of the, did you get your clicker? I did not. I have oh, no clicker. I think Jeff was supposed to give us a clicker, maybe. Oh, it's here, sorry. It's here. Thank you. Thank you Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. So, yeah. So, Let's yeah. talk about the I'm case study. Just, yeah, we're just yes. So the um, we sort of base ourselves on three pillars, and the three pillars that we have are connection, convenience, and credits. The connection is the real humanity that we bring to the brand. So when you go do your taxes, you know I'm sure many of you go to accountants. You might do it online, um, but when you go into that store, that connection you have with your tax pro, that's one of the things we're really leaning into this year: the humanity of it all. Um, the convenience, the ways to file, whether it's online and, or, you know, whether it's in person or you can drop off and pick up. And then the credits. This year was the weirdest year ever because there were three big tax changes, which I'm sure some of you got letters or like the emails, and it was just a very strange year. So there were thousands of new credits. And if you haven't spoken to your accountant or filed your taxes, I recommend asking about them because there's a ton. So this year, you know, we really leaned into that, that the three pillars, the humanity, how you talk, because taxes are so personal, like you drop off basically everything and you're like, please give me money back or please let me not owe money, you know, best case scenario. So, um, so really that's the humanity that we, we started on. There's a trust factor. I mean, you're giving yeah. this person all of your information and right. hoping and praying for the best. Right. And yeah. hoping they're a little creative also, right? Right, <laughs> right. right. I mean, we all hope for that. So um, to that end, we actually um, did a big brand campaign this year, which was called We See You. There were three spots. The interesting thing, there were a few interesting things. One of the main interesting things is we really wanted to showcase the diversity. Diversity not just from, from you know, race and age and gender, but we also um, had a handy capable person. We had a single parent. And these were real, just to show the, the real diversity, so it wasn't just you know, one person. So we, we filmed this actually in Mexico City, all three spots, build a set, and we did every actor, every talent actually had to replicate the same exact motion. Um, we did it day through night so you could get a sort of feel. So these are the three spots. The first one is um, called Certainty. No matter what you do, who you are, or how much money you earn. When it comes to doing taxes, don't go it alone. Jackson Hewitt Tax Pros will make certain you don't miss out on a single deduction. Get the biggest refund you deserve at Jackson Hewitt. That was, again, we filmed everybody. It was really interesting to have them match because some people don't match perfectly. So certainty was the first one that we did. The second one is called Thanks. This year, there are more tax credits at stake than ever before. Thousands more. The tax pros at Jackson Hewitt will help track down every last dollar. Jackson Hewitt is here to make sure you don't miss a single deduction so you can get your biggest refund guaranteed. And then last but not least, my personal favorite is Welcome. And we actually filmed this day to night. We took an entire day and there were some tricks in here that were super fun. And we took over a main street in Mexico City, which is no small task with like a cast. I think we had about 300 people or 400 people 
all in for our production. So it was bonkers, but this one is my favorite. Open late, early, weekends, after double shifts, during lunch breaks, in between grocery shopping, side gigs, and picking up the kiddos. Drop off your docs, upload online, or file on the go. At Jackson Hewitt, we work around your schedule so you can get your biggest refund guaranteed. And those are just 15 seconds. You guys yeah. pack a lot into that. We pack a lot in. Um, I'm sure as you guys, anyone in the financial or ever been in financial, legal's super fun when it comes to <laughs> disclaimers and all, well, you know this, right? Uh, but we do pack a lot in. We get a lot on the end card. Um, so it is a lot of messaging, but keeping the humanity and the connection there. And how are they performing so far? We have two seasons. So season one goes up till February 15th. So there's the early refund advance. People who want to get it in early because if you file early, you get your money back early. So that um, certainty was actually performing the best. Season two, which is current season, welcome is performing the best. Interesting. Do you think there's any reason why? Or is it just uh, the different mindsets for the I, two customers? We've sort of gone into the research. It's really hard to tell. Um, we've tested it um, several ways over. And it, I think it's just the mindset. It's the early, oh my God, panic. You know, people get it in early. And then the second wave of like, oh my really God, like we got to get this in, you know? Yeah, I'm in April 2nd, 3rd, running to my tax guy saying, right. here you go. Exactly. And they love that too. Oh, they love, they love me <laughs> every year. So next up, I think we're going to take a look at, um, yeah, this, this is a, uh, well, you explain it. It's so at the, you know, what's interesting working, I, you know, again, I'm mostly agency side. I went uh, not only client side, but taxes. So you learn a lot. And one of the things that I learned is that come tax season, there's a huge money grab for kids, for stuff. Um, and, you know, everybody declares everything. So obviously Homer is, you know, is right there up there. Right. Right. And I think we're gonna look at one more spot, right? We're actually gonna look at two more spots. So the way that um, we found like that the humanity, the connection, the real personal um, touch was working, we decided maybe there's a way to better target our audience. As a challenger brand, you know, we've got H&R Block, we've got Intuit, we've got a lot of um, competitors. We set ourselves up as a, as a challenger brand. So what we decided to do was really take a, a spin um, so these two were real, uh, they were direct. We created animations, not emojis, because we didn't really want to use what Apple had. And we built on them. So we created a whole um, just brand book of animations. And um, we went straight after the our competitors. And what happened was that these spots were doing so well online, they're actually now on TV. So you can see them on Hulu or Peacock. or you know We did a whole TV takeover because they were... Um, outperforming TV randomly, but here you go. This is free, free, free. And then the second one is us versus them. Very subtle. Jackson Hewitt Online, $25 online tax filing. Them, 50 to 140 ish dollars. File your taxes online for $25 flat, guaranteed. So, you guys had to do a really quick pivot to turn those into. Yeah, we ads. did. We had them as, um, and it was fun because we had this whole collection um, that we created of all these different styles. And we just, you know, because they were performing so well online, we just said, let's do it. So we changed our media buy completely just because they were performing so well, which, you know, rarely happens, but it was kind of cool to see. Yeah. And then what's up next? What's up next? More oh, humor. I love these. Yeah. More the memes. memes. The memes are good. The memes Who are good. Who doesn't appreciate a good meme? So we, um, just moving on to the next thing, we found that humor was working so well that we worked with NBCU to create um, an integrated campaign. So we worked with them to do you know, the brand bugs across all the networks, but we actually then worked specifically um, with two of their most uh, famous talk show hosts because we decided this was really gonna get our target audience. 
So on to um, the Steve Wilkos integration, which has been launched, uh, I think it launched at the beginning of the year. It started in on his, he did the TV and then it went all online and then it went very, very viral. It's the new year, which means it's tax season. Like many people, you're probably hoping for a tax refund. I'm broke. By the way, you got another kid coming. Oh my God. Yes, yes. I was getting on the appointment, but I got a job now. Get credit for all you do. Who else is going to pay bills? Discover thousands of tax credits at Jackson Hewitt. Thank you so much. Jackson Hewitt's expert tax pros will help you get all the credits and deductions you deserve. The fun part of that is it really, you know, the, his target audience of who was there. Actually, after I filmed, I went into the audience to go participate as, a, you know, as an audience viewer. It is bonkers there. I'm just saying that. I was like, what is happening? And people are, you know, screaming. And, and this is as we were coming out of COVID. So this, you know, we just shot this at the end of December. Um, it really leaned into his audience. It spoke to his voice. We, we, you know, we shot on set. And then his producers edited this has been um, so viral. Like, it just hit the target in the way that they speak. And it's been, you know, shared and reshared and reposted. I think the insight and what we did by getting it directly to the target in their voice was so much more authentic that it, it, became, um, it became a big sensation. So this was, I mean, this was the first of the two. And I was going to say, the next one is, is very similar. The next one's very similar. So I shot, um, it was the week before Christmas, shot with Steve one day, two days later. I shot with Maury, um, was a little, you know, starstruck with him. Um, and I sat in Jerry Springer's dressing room as I was waiting <laughs> to go shoot, which is kind of cool. So, I mean, talk about target audience. So here is uh, the next spot, which is Maury Povich. It's time for the results. You could get a $3,600 tax credit if you had a child last year. The Jackson Hewitt Tax Pro determined that's the truth. You could write off your wedding expenses if you got hitched this year. That's the truth. You can write off the $3,600 that you spent on dates. That's a lie. You can write off your divorce. The Jackson Hewitt Tax Pro determined that's a lie. You can get tax help about everything, juggling all of your jobs to being a parent. That's the truth. When your life changes, your deductions could too. So visit Jackson Hewitt today. You could discover thousands of dollars in tax credits. So why both of them? Are they hitting different targets? Are you just like them both? Or they were both. So they're both NBC. Um, they both uh, work in the same same area. But what we did is the buy. So we had across the Wendy Williams show. We like we really targeted. But these two were the, seemed the closest to try to get to the target. At the beginning, before we shot, I thought Maury would outperform. Um, just because he, you know, he's more Povich, and he just did an initiative with Little Nas X, um, and he did a video, the, you know, who's the baby daddy video. So, you know, he's very, very, he's become very relevant again. However, I think um, he didn't perform as well because his his target audience is older. So when he posted it, it was like, oh, you know what I mean? But like, he did an amazing read. It was so professional. And then Steve posted it, and it was like millions and millions first day of viewers and. Um, tons of shares. So I think it, it's just the fact of really leaning into the target, but really, you know, in the voice that they're used to. And maybe Wendy Williams next year if she comes back. I don't know. If, I don't know. But we, you know, yeah, possibly. But it just goes to show when you, you know, the, what we learned off of this is that when you talk to your target audience in the way, in the channel that they view in the way that they like, they tend to respond better because it feels more authentic and it's more fun. Do you think you'll go back to Maury again or is it one off? I mean, he did give me, uh, when I was going, the who's your baby daddy game and he signed it for me and he said, I hope this is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. And I was like, me too, Maury. But I, you know, who knows what next year is gonna hold. And you, you're happy with the way these have tested? 
Yeah, these are really, I mean, I wish we could, but due to just the, the, the rights, I wish we could leverage them in more places than just social. Um, I wish we could, we could, you know, put these as TV spots, but unfortunately the buy has us limited to, you know, social and digital only. But yeah, that, especially the, the Wilco spot. I mean, it, every time I see it, it makes me laugh. Like that edit was just, I just was literally crying as I was showing my boss. <laughs> So you've got creative in two very different directions. You've got the sort, you know, the humor, but then the more touchy-feely human the connections. Brand, yeah. So it kind of brings both together. Exactly. And I think that there's a place for everything. The, I mean, obviously, the brand is in there. It's, you know, we've got it 100%. It's like blue, blue, blue. Um, but it, it does go to show that, you know, so the brand, there's always a need for the brand at the core, and then how you can evolve it to really target your audience. Well, I think we have time for a few audience questions. If, if anybody wants to know the, the inside scoop about Maury Povich and whatever else. I actually wanted to find out, ooh, that's loud. Okay, I just wanted to ask you about in terms of, I know you sort of had to just stick with digital and social, but how are you optimizing the mix in terms of what else you're doing to sort of jump in on all of this um, exposure you're getting? So we, and that's a great question. What we found is that as well as the TV spots are doing, our, actually our radio has been number one in the country since January. Um, the way that our buy worked, and I'm not sure how that happened, so we've been actually writing nonstop new radio spots, and I've unfortunately, or fortunately, heard a few that I had to write at the last minute because we, you know, the, the radio is, is amazingly, and I don't know why, um, but the TV is definitely, you know, as far as the brand spots are concerned, they're tracking um, along with our competition, like we're head to head. So we'll see soon enough what that means regarding, you know, the actual in-store filing. Uh, we should know in the next week or two how our numbers have done for the season. And just so people know, because you, you, a lot of times you guys are mentioning it really hit the target audience. It really hit, what is the target audience? Like in terms of what they're, because obviously it's a very particular Very look. different, right. So the target audience um, is they make under 55000 a year. They work two to three jobs. They skew, um, you know, diverse. So it's um, Latino, uh, African-American, um, and it's, it's mostly single parents. So they're really, you know, we really tried to incorporate it. Um, that's for our tax prep, for our tax resolution, which is if you get a letter from the IRS, that skews higher. That's not in this target. That's more like 80 to 120 um, Caucasian. So we do make sure that our target, our target audiences are addressed in each one. It's not what people expect. Like a lot of people are surprised by that, but it's, um, you know, again, we, we spoke to, to where we found them most. All right, great. Well, thank you so much, Suzanne and you, Tanya. Everyone give them a round of applause. Thanks, that was a Tanya. great, great thank conversation. 